So welcome back on this second video. My name is Bruno Flaven. I've written an article about how to use a um, whisper. So it's a kind of um, how to extract from audio a transcription. So in the previous video, I was about to, um, I was making a kind of transcription with a script and directly um, output the result into a text file. So this time I'm going to open the nine so that this one, and then I've mixed these Whisper things inside this Whisper um, library with FastAPI to manage audio and video transcription. Uh, I think it's come from um, it's come from another uh, it's come from a real GitHub account where I find the code. But anyway, I'm going to show you that it's working. So I'm in the correct environment. I show in the preview video how to handle this environment, and then. I will launch, so you have, um, you, you launch first API with uh, Ubicorn, and then you name, uh, this is the name of the file, and then you declare the API just after, which is right here, and then it goes, it goes, it's going to launch the whole stuff, and it will be accessible. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take an MP3 and send it through the API. So if I go inside, so normally... I can cut and paste this one and I should be redirect because that's the first thing I made Mo almost every time I'm making a redirection with a starlet, I guess. Yeah, that's starlet. That redirect directly to the docs. Uh, you can have also access to the docs, but I'd rather use Swagger than the other one. Oh, that's redoc. Uh, I think you redoc. Yeah, but I'd rather go for um, docs. I don't know. I rather I like swaggers more than than the other. So this is the first one. It has no really interest. So instead of sending a video because it takes too much time, I'm going to just send an audio. So I will do exactly the same operation. Try out, and then I will go inside this uh, file which is here. I'm going to get there, I'm going to get also audio file source and I'm going to take the, the like the previous one that I've used, the sample one mp3, select it and then execute. So I should have exactly the same uh, as this one that should go, that should see, see. Let's see, he's making the change. So be careful because he's, crea he's creating a temporary, he's creating a temporary file. So I see if I copy it, I think I can copy that. Yeah, let's copy. If I copy it, you see that's exactly the same thing he has made because it's the same file. But fortunately this time I have access it to um, an API. Okay, and he can do uh, exactly the same with, for instance, if I take the Spanish one, um, I think I'm going to take, well, I'm going to take the same one, even if it takes too much time. Let's take foreign and then it was uh, Spanish. So two megabytes. I hope that it won't take too much time, but then we will make a comparison. So this is from the API. And this one was from the script. So you see, that's exactly the same. And I'm going to open it, this one. So you see, temporary file is, is making the extraction and stuff like that. And it's going to delete. Uh, where is he? He's going to delete, remove. He's removing everything. So that's why he's creating a new one. Normally, I should see right here. So if I copy it and cut and paste directly into the Spanish. Yes, that's correct. De vamos en el campo, la zona de la red que alguien. That's exactly the same. So I have from the API right here and from the script. So that was for the first video. And then the second video, that will be this one. So I'm going to upload everything into my GitHub account so you would see. Uh, so that's basically 
what is great is that you can see, and I've made several articles about how to expose this machine model learning or these, A, or these uh, IA features through an API because it's very useful if you need to have a strategy for intelligence artificials to expose what you have given. So basically you have a lot of article about that and that was the one missing, that was the one about speech and how to handle audio files. So like I said, it's for anyone who's working, anyone who produces you and want to use OpenAI Whisper on a daily basis. Sure, you're going to make script, but also you can think about creating an API with Fast API. Okay, that's very easy to do so. Uh, I will go to the third video. That's Faster Whisper. That was, uh, that's another distribution that's a quite different distribution, but it was interesting because this distribution, this uh, package or library or whatever you call it, um, has the ability to split up through words. So I'm going to show you in the third video. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or even to read my article. And um, hope to see you in a minute in the third video. Bye-bye.